into the abyss, why dark web links are thriving. Picture this, the internet as a bustling city, where everyone's out in the open, going about their business. But beneath the surface, there's a labyrinth of shadowy alleyways, a place where the rules are different, and where anonymity is the currency of choice. Welcome to the dark web, where links aren't just doorways, they're invitations into the unknown. Today, we're diving into why these dark web links are not just surviving but thriving. Setting the scene The dark web is like the digital Wild West, a frontier that's equal parts lawless and mysterious. It's where you go when you want to disappear, or when you're looking for something, or someone, that doesn't want to be found. Over the past few years, there's been a surge in the number of people wandering into this abyss, clicking on dark web links that lead to places most of us wouldn't dare to venture. But what's driving this movement into the shadows? The Allure of Anonymity Let's start with the allure of anonymity. In a world where every click, every search, and every purchase is tracked, tagged, and analyzed, the dark web offers something rare, privacy. It's a place where you can be whoever you want, without the fear of being watched. For some, it's a way to escape the all-seeing eye of corporations and governments. For others, it's the only place they feel truly free to express themselves, or to find information that's censored elsewhere. But it's not just about privacy. The dark web is also a refuge for those who deal in the illicit, the forbidden, and the illegal. Here, links lead to black markets where you can buy everything from fake passports to stolen data, from illegal drugs to weapons. These links are thriving because they offer something that can't be found on the surface web access to a world where anything goes. The technology behind these thriving dark web links. Then, there's the technology. Tools like Tor make it easier than ever to navigate this dark landscape. These technologies were originally developed for noble purposes, protecting privacy and ensuring freedom of expression. But like any tool, they've been repurposed. Now, they're the engines driving the dark web's growth. With just a few clicks, anyone can download Tor, fire it up, and start exploring the dark web, no questions asked. The simplicity and accessibility of these tools have led to a boom in dark web activity. And with more people using the dark web, the ecosystem of links and services has expanded. It's a self-perpetuating cycle. The more people click, the more content gets created, and the more content there is, the more people are drawn in the risks and the reality. But let's not romanticize it, this isn't some digital utopia. The dark web is dangerous, and those links that seem so inviting can lead to places you might wish you'd never found. There are predators in these shadows, scammers, hackers, and worse. For every person seeking anonymity for noble reasons, there's another looking to exploit it. This dark web boom has brought with it a wave of new threats, malware, phishing scams, and even coordinated cyber attacks. As more people venture into the abyss, the risk grows, not just for them, but for the wider internet as well. The dark web's thriving links are a double-edged sword, offering both freedom and peril. So, why are dark web links thriving? Because in a world that's becoming increasingly controlled and surveilled, the dark web offers something different, a chance to step outside the light, to explore the unknown, and to find what can't be found anywhere else. But remember, every click is a step deeper into the abyss. The question is, how far are you willing to go? Thanks for joining me on this journey into the shadows. Visit the link in the description below for more information.